planet a is in nakshatra pada 1 planet b is in nakshatra pada 2 planet c is in nakshatra pada 4 and planet d is again in nakshatra pada 1 <laughs> no planets in nakshatra pada 3 all right uh, we see these placements in the horoscope and you we wonder what does it mean why is a planet why in the universe is your sun or your moon or your venus your rahu ketu saturn jupiter mars mercury why are they sitting in that particular nakshatra pada why not in any other for example why is your sun maybe in first pada of any nakshatra all 27 nakshatras doesn't matter what does it mean if your 10th lord is supposedly sitting in uh the first pada of any nakshatra in your lagna chart what does it mean well it has a lot of meaning all right so that's exactly what we shall discuss today and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your career marriage relationships health or spirituality then please go to the website down in the description section and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you even if you have no planets in nakshatra pada 4 <laughs> okay so now uh, what is the first nakshatra pada uh, nakshatra pada 1 actually shows us initiation see it is uh, dharma there are four purusharthas okay is dharma artha kama moksha okay so therefore dharma means uh, in today's context uh, dharma is understood as religion okay it's not exactly religious uh, identity it basically means uh, doing something of your own dharma means that which sustains you okay or that which withholds you that which uh, takes care of you basically that is why the mahabharat says dharmo rakshati rakshitah dharma protects one who uh, adheres to it okay dharma protects one who adheres to it so therefore dharma also mean that which is your intrinsic nature as the scriptures say the dharma of sugar or honey is to be sweet the dharma of uh, karela is to be bitter <laughs> bitter god uh, as they say god or god whatever so that something which you cannot uh, stay without you, know, you cannot have honey without uh, being uh, without it being sweet then that's not honey it can be some it it's something else okay so to the degree you feel you are yourself to that degree your dharma is strong okay and what does artha mean artha means that which sustains you okay on a material level and not only materially but which has to do with continuing of what dharma that you uh, established as lord krishna says in the gita na yada yada hi dharmasya glanir bhavati bharata abhyutthana ma dharmasya tadatmanam se jamya yeah, so therefore these padas are very important the first pada second pada and what is third pada third pada is kama trikona it is uh, it is that pada which shows uh, the energy of the kama houses what what do you mean when you say the energy of the kama houses it means there is wider range for exploration that is what is the third pada and fourth pada has to do with moksha okay which means either ending something or giving away parts of it that can show charity and all this also philanthropy or spiritual work at a deeper level so therefore suppose your uh, your 10th lord many times people ask this question should i be doing a uh, business or that have a job what is how do you identify you have to see if if most of the planets not only 10th lord if most of the planets are in nakshatra pada 1 that means this person has a very high calling for dharma which means this person wants to do something which he or she likes and what he or she thinks is right or what he or she wants to believe is right or wrong okay so that is something which is very crucial and especially the lords of your second sixth tenth and eleventh these four are the houses of finances if the lords of these four houses 
if they are sitting in uh, Nakshatra Pada 1, then it is highly recommended that this person does something of his own when it comes to career. Why? Because then the person has, see, if it is in Nakshatra Pada 1, then it means when it comes to that aspect of life, which is finances, which are controlled by these four houses, the 2nd, 6th, 10th and 11th, the person has to feel himself or herself. The person has to feel, I am doing what I want to do, what I need to, or at least what I want or what I think I should. <laughs> so then you might have to suggest the person, depending on the other placements, of course, conditions apply. That yes, it is good if you go and start your own venture. It is recommended. And suppose it is in uh, the lords of these houses is in a second pada primarily. Okay, if three of them or four of them are in second pada, then what happens? Then it shows that now second house has to do with sustenance, that which is already there. Remember, second house is that which is already there. So second house means there is some trait or talent which you are already born with. You do something in that area, okay? Which uh, maybe was something related to your family, something related to your family lineage, or your family business, or some work which has already been established. You know, like working in big corporations, which are like uh, already very big, and uh, they are having lots of revenue. The second house is also uh, having link with finance, okay? Now, when I say finance, I don't mean money here. I mean the finance sector, okay? But in general, the second pada has to do with sustenance. It's like continuing something which has already grown up to a, a large extent, okay? Where there is not much flexibility required or allowed also, I could say not much flexibility is allowed where uh, the, there is growth, but uh, the growth is gradual, okay? So therefore, uh, if somebody comes to you and says, I want to invest in some companies, you know, buy stocks or mutual fund or something like this. And the persons, because uh, the fifth Lord uh, will show your interests in investing. So then if the fifth Lord is uh, in a second uh, Pada Nakshatra, okay, of any Nakshatra, then it is best if the person uh, invests in companies which are very big where uh, they get gradual returns, but the returns are assured. Okay, And these people might also like it, uh, these kind of investments, if the Atma Karaka is there or the Ascendant Lord or even if the 11th Lord is placed, okay, then it could happen. Uh, it could be uh, that the person is not very much interested in uh, things which are very much fluctuating. They want stability in life, in career. Okay. <clears throat> And if majority of these planets uh, in the chart, or at least the lords of the 2nd, 6th, 10th, and 11th, they are placed in the 3rd Pada of uh, any Nakshatra, then what happens is, then the person requires greater freedom, flexibility is required, because the 3rd Pada has to do with air, it's Vayu Tattva, which means there uh, the person can do very good in those sectors where there has to be constant change, the person gets bored with doing one kind of work. Have you seen people? They're like, ah, I can't sit doing uh, the same thing whole day. You know? Oh, I want to travel. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to meet clients. I want to go to my uh, that place and I want to record videos. I want to upload. I want to do this. I want to do that. So the person wants and likes to or should be doing new, new things every day or every hour, or every week, every month, depending on what the person is doing. That is that is what is the third pada, because the third pada has to do with exploration. So you have to explore different areas and try out new things when majority of your planets are in the third pada. Okay? And third pada is also very suitable for uh, social media, IT technology, and all this. Anything that spreads, uh, as, as they say, it goes viral. Okay. Now, because only air goes viral, okay? It's viral always because air is always there everywhere. Vayu Devta. So, therefore, you have to understand that the third pada has to do with something which requires constant modification, constant upgradation, like something to do with technology. Today, 
today it is uh, machine learning data science tomorrow it's blockchain then day after tomorrow it's something else okay earlier there was uh, this cobol was there then new new programming languages came now there is python there was uh, java java is still there uh, so many other programming languages it's evolving gradually 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 okay therefore that's the best uh, area for uh, modification and constant learning so third pada means you are not the same you are evolving continuously okay second pada means you know who you are you are stable and you continue doing that you continue doing the same thing repetitive work why because if you see the sixth house is a trikona the sixth house is a fifth from the second house what is the sixth house is the house of daily routine daily work routine repetitive redundant work okay so this is a trikona which means this the, these traits of the sixth house support the second house okay therefore if you have planets in the second pada primarily then you should be uh, you should stay away from sectors where you know every day you are have to learning some uh, to learn something new or something like that you have to make sure that you are in such a place where there are big things going on but you are managing what is which is the other trikona for the second house it is the 10th house 10th house is managerial authority you are not doing the work yourself but you are managing you are managing big things managerial positions leadership roles okay within some company uh, they are very good for second pada okay so therefore third pada if you see who 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 which are the houses which are in uh, trikon the 7th house and the 11th house 11th house is associates meeting other people and seventh house is one to one business dealing okay so business transaction uh, it's like one to one uh, negotiation so if you have planets in third pada then it can be excellent okay and then you have the fourth pada so fourth pada what does it mean so see fourth pada is very interesting fourth pada and first pada if they are working in good harmony this can be the best thing in the chart <clears throat> why do i say this because sometimes you will see that if there are too many planets in fourth pada and if you are um, establishing if you are already having your family business then it can happen that you are the one when you start taking lead of this business the business completely collapses okay and then you start something new because moksha pada is destruction and then creation if the first pada is also in board so then what happens is or it could happen that you learned uh, you know you you were an engineer okay you did a uh, bachelor of technology and then you went and did masters in something else which was completely different okay you did uh, maybe you studied medical science again in india it doesn't happen but in the west it happens like that uh, because uh, in the west people are more concerned with what they are doing you know rather than uh, how much money they are getting from that source but in india this obsession is there okay once you have gone into engineering you must be an engineer for the rest of your life so but if the fourth pada is involved somehow that person will end up doing something totally different because fourth pada means you will get a feeling that i should give up this i should give up give up give up so when you are giving up you have to take something right <laughs> so first you have to give up to take something okay without giving up how will you take something new so therefore many times people ask me that sir uh, i i want to do this i uh, don't want to do what i am doing uh, in my existing work i don't like it or there's some problem so what should i be doing then i see if the fourth pada is involved otherwise what will happen if the fourth pada is not there in the lords of these money houses second six ten ten eleven then what happens is this person will not be able to give up something this person will be think suppose this person becomes interested in medical science after studying engineering okay how much how much how many years does it take to become an engineer 22 years not four years <laughs> so after he will say oh i studied 22 years engineering i did not take biology when i was in my 11th standard 
I have interest towards medical science. My parents pushed me towards engineering. I want to study, but then how do I give up? You know, because you have to renounce those uh, four years at least of your engineering in India, especially Germany. It's three years in some places, of course. So whatever it is, you have to renounce something. So that pain of letting go something has to be there in the fourth pada. Only then you can do what you like. Okay. And there are many other things which you have to check, like especially when it comes to creativity, where is the fifth lot placed, you know, which pada it is placed. Where is this person going when it comes to the 10th lot? Where is the 10th lot? And same is with the 7th lot also you know, when you talk of marriage. So if the 7th lot is in a, what do you say, a second pada of any nakshatra, you know, then then it's uh, it's like saying that they don't want much changes within the marriage. They want it to continue the way it is. But if it is in third pada, they are like, no, 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 no. We have to do this. We have to do that. We have to go here. We have to go there. We, we will change cities every three years. Okay. They, they, they have these kind of mentalities. Okay. But anyways, uh, disclaimer, it depends on your overall chart. How is the third house? How is the second house? How is the 10th house? How is the 11th house? How is the 7th house? How is your lagna? First house. Okay, very crucial. How is the lord of your trikonas? Okay, fifth lord, ninth lord. So these are very crucial. And when it comes to spirituality, you can also apply these same techniques. Okay, there you go. That will be all from my side. And if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation you will find my website down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him